Sastor Shonen Eiyu Den Coca-Cola Kid is a platform game for the Sega Game Gear, which was only released in Japan. The game was translated into English back in 2007 by Filler and RPG One. In truth, there isn't much in the way of text to translate, making it even more curious that it wasn't released elsewhere. The game follows the adventures of a baseball cap-toting kid called Koki, who goes in aid of his teacher after she's kidnapped by a nefarious gang called Team Evil. It's a very thin plot indeed. The game uses the same engine as the Master System Sonic the Hedgehog games, so the similarity when playing will be very clear. The main difference between this game and Sonic is the level design. There are a lot of vertical walls, but fortunately our kid is able to wall jump to get around this, and in many cases this is necessary. Along the way you'll face the occasional baddie, presumably members of Team Evil, but most are easily dealt with by a sturdy kick. The kid has a few more things in his arsenal, the most useful of which is a very Sonic-style dash attack, allowing him to both dispatch foes and jump otherwise unpassable gaps. He can also do a sliding attack, which occasionally comes in handy for traversing the level. In addition to several power-ups that can be collected, he can ride on a skateboard, as any cool kid from the early 90s should do, but you're unlikely to stay on for more than two seconds as it invariably bangs into the scenery. The game is really not very long. There are five levels with three areas each for a total of 15 stages, and the last of each level is a boss fight. Starting in downtown somewhere, you move on to Central Park. <laughs> Maybe it's downtown New York then. From there you traverse some ruins, which I suppose could still be in New York, followed by a steel factory, where our kid has no trouble jumping in this mysterious grey substance. Is that what they use to make steel? I don't know. Hmm. You end up at a disco to face off against the final mysterious boss. In no time at all, you save the day and proceed to be suffocated to unconsciousness by your teacher's heaving bosom. Oh, Japan. In all the excitement, you may have noticed that this game is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Indeed, it's hard to avoid it. At first thought, you may think that that's why the game never made it outside Japan, due to stricter rules on advertising and sponsorship. But other games have been released which include branding, such as Cool Spot and Zool. So again, it's not clear to me why they kept it in Japan. Needless to say, this kid is such a Coke fan that he'll take a swig at any chance he gets. If you want to benefit from a wider view, and be able to play it on your TV on original hardware, there's also a patch on smspower.org that converts the game to the Master System. Granted you lose a bit of colour, and there are some graphical glitches due to the game not being designed for the higher resolution, but it's a great way to play it on your TV with a flashcard or what have you. Admittedly, Filler's translation is hardly necessary, given the tiny amount of text, but as usual, translations like this can shine a light on an otherwise forgotten game. Is this one worth playing, then? Well, if you enjoyed Sonic on the Master System and Game Gear, you might well enjoy this too. <laughs>